This is a video tutorial to introduce the uh, code.org maker app. Uh, this is the web app that we will be using to design apps um, that we will interact with through our Chromebooks as well as to program the Circuit Playground Express, uh, which is the hardware component. Um, there's a lot of uh, different options here. We're going to take a look at just the basics that we need um, for the series of lessons in this unit. Uh, feel free, obviously, to explore others. Um, also keep in mind that all of the options we see here won't necessarily be available in every lesson that we do uh, because the, the options are basically simplified for what's needed for that particular lesson. Um, but on my screen is, is basically all of the options um, so that I can introduce them to you. Just don't be surprised if they don't all show up on a particular lesson. Um, first thing I wanted to focus on is the um, that there are basically two modes here for programming. Um, there is design mode, which is selected right now, and there is code mode as well. And I'm going to start in, in the design mode. Um, the design mode is where we design the user interface for our app. Um, this represents the screen of our app. Think of it as like, like a, a phone screen. Um, and these are all the different elements that we can add to our app to achieve different things. And like I said, we're just going to explore a couple of them. Um, so let's, let's jump in with that. Um, let's add, we're going to do something super simple. We're going to have a button which toggles an LED. So I'm going to click and drag and drop a button onto the screen. Um, and then all of the properties of the button are displayed over here. So I'm going to give this an ID of LED button. And the text I'm going to change to say toggle LED. So it makes a little bit more sense. I'm going to leave all the other values um, as, their, as their defaults. Um, and we could have all sorts of other elements here as well. So for example, I could add a label up here and I could say my could label this, change the text here to circuit playground express tutorial. And then I could decide I want it somewhere else and make it bigger. And I could change its its all of its properties, its color, its font, its everything. We're just gonna keep it very simple for now. So many other options here as well. But basically we can use this to build the user interface for whatever app we're doing. And you're gonna do that in several different lessons. Um, if you wanna learn more about any of these, you can click on help and tips up here and you can learn more about design mode and more about design mode elements in particular. Um, but basically that's all we need to worry about for now. Okay. Um, so we add all the elements we want to our user interface in design mode. And then we switch over here to code mode. So I'm gonna click on code um, and we'll see that the toolbox has now changed to be all of these different blocks um, that I can use instead. And the blocks are organized into several different categories. So there's UI controls. These are blocks that interact with the different elements in my user interface. There are circuit blocks. These blocks interact with the Circuit Playground Express with the hardware. There are math blocks to do mathematical operations. There are function blocks to create our own functions. Uh, there's some maker um, blocks for more advanced interactions with the uh, Circuit Playground Express. There are control blocks for if we want to loop, um, execute certain blocks so many times, or have uh, conditionals. Test some condition. If this is true, do that. Otherwise, do this. Um, and then define some variables as well. Okay. Um, apps operate on a basis of what's called event-driven programming. And you'll learn more about this in your lessons. But basically that means that the app just sits around and waits until the user does something to interact with the app. And so in this example, the app is gonna sit around and wait until the user clicks on this toggle LED button. When they do click on it, it generates what is called an event. An event is just something that 
that has occurred um, often due to a user, but not always. Um, and so to get our program started here, we're going to start by dragging one of these on event blocks over to the workspace. And when I do that, you can see there's several options here and I'm free to type in what I want or I can click on the little triangle and choose from various options. So for example, there are three elements in our user interface, the screen, the label I made and LED button. And we're interested in when the LED button is clicked. And there's other options here as well in terms of different types of events, but clicked works well for us. Inside of this on event block where it's green, we can add the code that will run when the user clicks on the toggle LED button. And to keep this simple, all we want to do is to toggle the red LED on the Circuit Playground Express. So I switch to the circuit part of the toolbox, and I'm simply going to drag LED toggle into the on event block here inside of this green function, and then the LED will, will toggle. And this is one of the simplest programs we can do, but really this is all it takes. I can simply hit run now, and now my app is actually running. Um, and we can see that down here by the little spinny thing here. There's all sorts of debug commands and watchers, which we're not going to get into. Um, but for just the purposes here, if I click on this button now, toggle LED, the LED comes on. If I click again, the LED comes off. Um, I can change my code around, and if I want to run this again, I click reset, um, or rather I can click reset. Now I can change around my code, and when I want to run it again, I simply click run. Um, it makes it pretty straight, pretty straightforward. This is all block-based programming. Um, if you have a programming experience, you might be um, more comfortable with, with text-based programming, and there are a couple of more advanced lessons where we do need to type a little bit of text. You can toggle between the modes right here where the, using this button that says show text. So if you click on show text, it's gonna change it to the text-based programming that we can use instead. Now we can always click it again to go back to blocks. I highly recommend you start with blocks, which will lead you through this process um, in a much more straightforward manner. All right, I hope that gets you started with Code.org's Maker app, um, and you'll be off and running with your Circuit Playground Express.